Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the plotting of a sinusoidal signal. Sinusoidal signal is basically one of the fundamental signals. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at x of t is equal to a times cos of uh, omega t plus phi. So, we are going to plot this function. So, for the plotting purposes, we are going to use the following values. a is equal to say 1 and omega is equal to 2 pi and phi is equal to pi by 3. So, we are going to plot this function in MATLAB. So, to plot this signal, we uh, we assume the values a equal to 1, omega is equal to 2 pi, that is the frequency is assumed to be 1 hertz and phi, that is the phase is assumed to be pi by 3. Now, let us look at the MATLAB code for this one. So, uh, first we have to create the time vector. So, uh, limit 1 and limit 2 are basically the starting and ending values of the time vector and we assume the sampling rate as 1000. So, the sampling interval is, so the, therefore, the sampling interval is 1 by fs which is 1 by 1000 and then we assume the amplitude to be 1 and the frequency mm, in radians is 2 pi radians and phase is equal to uh, pi by 3 and then x of t is uh, basically the definition a times cos of omega t plus phase. Now we plot this function that is t comma x t plot of t comma x t. So let us look at the result. So uh, the signal uh, is plotted between minus phi and plus phi that is x axis is from minus phi to plus phi and the value of the signal is from minus 1 to plus 1 since we assume the amplitude to be 1. So and the frequency is equal to 1 hertz or uh, 2 pi radians. Uh, we can uh, look at the uh, results by changing the frequency or the amplitude. For example, if you change the amplitude to 2, we will have the op, uh, we'll have the corresponding effect on the result. So, now the amplitude has gone from 1 to 2. Similarly, we can also look at the influence of this frequency, uh, making the frequency equal to 2 hertz or in other words 4 pi radians, you clearly see that the signal has, uh, the number of cycles has clearly increased. Now, we can also look at the phase value. Uh, that is, uh, for example, if you make the value phase equal to pi by 2, so when we observe this result, so when we make the phase equal to pi by 2, that is cos of 0 into plus pi by 2, that is cos of pi by 2, this clearly have to be 0. So that is what we observe here, that is at x equal to 0, that is at time t equal to 0, y is 6.123 into 10 power minus 17, which is practically 0. So that means cos function is 0 at this value. So, to summarize, we, in this video, we have looked at uh, the function a cos of omega t plus phi and for by selecting some values of the amplitude, frequency and phase, we have plotted the cosine function in the MATLAB. That is, we have taken the values uh, of the time vector and the frequency, that is the sampling frequency, we generate the time vector and then we select the values of the parameters of the sinusoid and then we plot, uh, generate the signal x of t is equal to a times cos function of omega t plus phase and then we plot that one. Then we can generate the signal and by changing the frequency then we found that the cycles increase that is cycle in a given time period increase uh, by, by increasing the frequency and then we can change the amplitude and uh, observe the corresponding effect. And thus we have uh, generated and plotted a uh, cosine signal using MATLAB. Thanks for watching.